guys. Today we're gonna talk about crypts. Well, yeah, yeah, once. Once again, we're talking about crypts, and you're probably... Oh, Star and Sky is gonna talk trash about crypts today. Uh, once again, because... Because he doesn't like crypts. Well, I have a surprise for you. I... Feel like it's a very... Important quality... For a person... To be able to admit when they are wrong. I always thought my abs were harder than a rock. I was wrong, it's actually harder than anything. I always thought you were a smart guy. But I admit, I was wrong. Okay, cut it off, seriously. I was wrong about crypts. I was wrong about crypts. Well, to my... In my defense, when I made my last video about crypts, I was lacking some critical information. And that critical information is that we can actually buy tower gear from crypts. Now, before when the when the crypt just started, they have been selling pretty much only crypt crypt gear for a couple of weeks. So when I recorded both of my videos, uh, I did not have this knowledge that this was going to happen. So this is incredible. You can buy an epic tower piece of gear for 6,000 crypt points. And let's be honest. Tower gear is way more valuable than characters. Not even in competition. So the fact that epic tower gear costs like half, or in some cases even less than half, than certain diamonds. And also, it's pretty easy to, to see that the game knows. The game knows which cards are good and which cards are bad. So, you can literally make a tier list from just seeing which characters have uh, cost 14,000 points and which characters cost 10,000 points. The game, the game knows exactly <laughs> who is trash and who is not. But... I still stand by my opinion that uh, it's, in my opinion, it's not worth it to do crypts for characters. Uh, first of all, there is only probably 5 to 10 characters, diamond characters in the game, who actually matter. Who actually, like, getting fusions would be useful and you're actually gonna use those diamonds uh, for towers or survival and stuff. I mean, to be fair, the more diamonds you have, the more points uh, you'll be able to farm in crypts and in survival mode. So yes, that's another use for diamonds. But for the most part, like look at the at the uh, at the selection this week. There is nothing in here that is ab you absolutely need to have. Devdet Kitana would be nice, I guess, for survival, but she she is useless in towers and anywhere else. So I don't know characters. It's something that like there's. 5 to 10 characters in the game that can literally beat anything for you. And th those characters like Classic Liu Kang... Well, we did have Classic Liu Kang last week. But some, most of those characters actually even... Like, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have to uh, be high fusion to be effective. So, like, it's... For the amount of points you need for characters, and considering that it resets every week, I still don't think it's 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 a smart waste use of your time. Uh, if like if you have limited time in this game, I don't think crypts are, is something you should be investing that limited time in. If you have unlimited time, like I've seen people grinding three elder crypts a day, and honestly, I'm impressed and I have huge respect for those people. It's just not everybody has 3-4 hours every day to grind crypts. So if you have like maybe 1 hour a day to play the game, I would I would rather go for for towers to be honest. Also characters you can get from so many ways. You can open packs, you can get uh, diamonds from towers from battle 100, 200, regular towers 200. Even battle 180 has 20% chance to drop you a diamond. You can get diamonds from faction wars from what else i guess that's it pretty much but tower gear you can only get from like consistently only get from certain battles in towers for example epic tower gear you can only get from battle 200 of uh fatal tower and let's count how many towers it's gonna take you to complete your epic collection 
considering that you like at some point you're probably gonna max out one piece and then you're gonna keep dropping it so you, you don't have a choice I'm, yeah there's random drops for epic gear but those are extremely low extremely low so in my opinion also tower gear is gonna make your runs so much easier in the tower that you get the tower piece in it's just not even close in my opinion getting a tower gear from crypts if you have like an hour a day to spend you can just run so that's what i did on my uh ios account uh no this is my android account i ran a bunch of hard crypts so i ran four hard crypts each gives you around 1500 coins you get 6,000. That's literally four hours a week. Three and a half, four hours a week. And it gives you a, a, a card of your choice. So I'm definitely buying this. This is what I've been grinding for. Wushu Masters Gundao Blade. When Earthrealm Tower comes back, I'm going to have much easier time uh, going through the tower. Most of the tower gear is pretty trash. But you have to keep in mind that tower gear boost your stats so having an epic weapon in a tower even if the other qualities are complete trash is going to be extremely helpful in that tower and uh there's so much more gear than characters and the gear can be used on any characters most people already have characters uh but gear could be very useful like you could like any tower comes, you are ready. You have a bunch of uh, pieces of gear. Or if you're a veteran, if, if you have very powerful accounts, and you're missing just a couple epics uh, that you just need to get a couple of fusions instead of just trying your luck in the towers, I I will tell you, do the crypt. If crypt gives you that epic piece that you don't have maxed, do the crypt. So I was wrong about crypts and uh, pretty much well. I wasn't technically wrong. It's more of the now that we have we, we have this gear equipment in in the crypts. I'm actually I think I'm actually gonna do some crypts every week just so I can get the epic pieces of gear. I'm not even if you want to be as efficient as possible, don't even work. Don't even worry about the rare ones. Go for epics. It does seem like uh, MK Mobile is planning to repeat all the towers now multiple times, so we're probably gonna be. Uh, the rare pieces are so much easier to get. On my main account, I pretty much have most of them maxed out at this point from just playing the towers multiple times, especially if you use souls and refreshes. Uh, epics, however, are incredibly hard to max out, so this is huge help. I did this same thing on my iOS account, so let's switch and let's get my piece of gear. All right, so I did the same thing here. I'm not doing elder difficulty because uh, the hard difficulty I can actually do on auto. On my main account and on my beginner accounts, I just don't want to deal with those. Like, I, I'm not risking it. It's not worth it, especially if you're not going for the maximum completion. Like, if you're not even using all of your free tries every single day, there's literally no point going elder difficulty because the rewards are the same you are getting around 250 uh hearts per floor so no matter which difficulty you do you're gonna get the same amount of car uh, of hearts per floor the only difference you just get more floors per run in higher runs so if you're just farming like 6,000 points a week like i am uh I, I would recommend going for hard ones or if you are if your account is weaker maybe go for the easy ones depends on what you like I, I guess there is this thing the thing that you can you have higher chance of dropping uh, gear quest gear or characters gold cards like people say the higher the higher difficulty has higher chance of dropping those when you do battles but uh, there is no proof of that to be honest and from all of this grinding that I did I did 6,000 points on both accounts so I grinded 12,000 points I only had one gear drop. I did have like three or four gold cards drop, which was pretty trash. But for the only one epic piece of gear on my Android account, not a single one on my iOS, still, from the beginning of times. I have never dropped a piece of gear on my iOS account. If you take a look at my uh in, in my gear, it's it's pretty it's pretty sad. It's pretty sad. But anyway, let's finish uh let's finish this floor. I'm using this team. It's absolutely busted. 
First of all, let me make sure I will have enough points. Something is not right. Oh no, never mind. Everything is right. Yeah, I will have enough points if I just finish this. I'm using really strong team with really good gear and uh, is absolutely demolishing this and I'm getting maximum points. Like I'm pretty sure I can beat this on auto, but I'm not going to risk it. I have everything here. Shields, invulnerability, like this team is just busted. I always have shields or invulnerability on, so it's nearly impossible to lose a character, even on auto. It only happened to me once. Throughout this grinding, I only lost a character once on auto, so it, it's not bad at all. Like, they cannot do nothing to me. Your embarrassment, Cabal. Absolute embarrassment. Okay, let's get the healing going. Like, the gear of my characters here is top-notch. It's absolutely ridiculous. I would not be able to do the same thing on my beginner account, to be honest. <clears throat> so I have to manually do the fights. Maybe I should switch to normal difficulty and just do it on outer too. I I'm gonna try that next week. See if I can win normal difficulty on outer, because if I can... What is it? Uh, 500 points, 1,000 points per run. So I just need to do six runs on the normal difficulty to get my piece of gear, which is not bad. That's like half an hour a day, just do one run. And you even have one day that you can miss. That's pretty good. I think that's pretty reasonable. For an epic piece of tower gear, my god. Honestly, such a great deal. I'm so surprised that they allow us to buy tower gear like there is not many ways to get tower gear for free not many ways at all and let's okay we got sixty-four thousand. uh let's go to the crypt store and let's buy a wushu monster gundao blade i i butchered that completely but Fusion, it's like winning winning uh, battle 200 feels so good because diamonds are usually resells for me on this account But this gives me a chance to actually get a Fusion on the epic piece that would take me forever to get probably uh, So yeah, awesome Kind of want to get a fusion on that lizard newbie boy, but I'm not gonna use him for anything. So It's okay. So yeah final thoughts I was wrong. I was wrong about Crypts. It's it's a very, very good game mode for for getting gear. Still not convinced. Still not convinced about characters. I think it, it's going to be a good game mode for getting characters if they remove uh, the point reset every week. But for now, like to get one piece of gear, six thousand is, in my opinion, perfect amount to grind a week, at least for me, and I think for a lot of other people. People who are not willing to grind 14,000 points a week, I think 6,000 6, points is much easier to swallow. It's 30, 30 minutes a day for 6 days a week, and you can max out your epic tower gear, which is an incredible thing. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, do, you, do you play crypts more now that you can actually grind for tower gear? And I definitely will be probably every single week picking up those epic pieces unless i have the piece maxed out on my main account which is not many i have like maybe five epic tower pieces maxed out the rest i still need some copies especially if i see a piece that i have a very low fusion like below fusion 5 i'm definitely grinding that all right thank you for watching subscribe for more and goodbye